today's video, I'm going to be bringing you another great route concept to beat the bench press, man coverage, press coverage uh, scheme. And it comes out of the run heavy playbook trips wise slot formation. And this is a really, really solid formation, especially in mutt. If you have good route running tight ends here, you can put. And also one of the things that I do want to encourage you to understand is that you can put the stretch in your audibles here. You can have the, the zone weak. So this could be a really good running scheme as well. Uh, and then you can put these uh, other plays in your audibles like the smash or the wide receiver screen or even the stick play or the PA slot wheel. All these are good plays, but the play we're going to be talking about the most and the play we're going to be talking about in this video is Y Trail. Now, if you guys have never seen any of my videos, my name is Cody and I make Madden 21 videos that are designed to help you improve your Madden game, take your game to the next level, and really help you beat the competition online. Um, and so uh, if that is something that interests you, I want to encourage you right now to click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, so why trail, and this is why it's really, really important in my opinion, is basically what you've got with this is you've got a lot of different options now in mutt if this if this was mutt i would be putting um jermichael finley probably here where jarman is and then um either jimmy graham or john smith or tony gonzalez right here but basically the better route running you have the better these two specific routes will work now, this route on the right side of the screen is a little bit better than even the play that I have out of the shotgun spread because the angle of the corner route is really, really good. So if they try to press coverage you, this route is going to be basically stock unbumpable. And what's going to happen is they're going to, wow, I cannot believe that just happened in practice mode. But what's going, what's going to happen is basically um, this route on the right side is going to base is is a stock unbumpable route. What that means is he's not going to be able to get pressed, and they're going to get an, an instant press losing animation, and you're going to be able to get the ball over the top of the defense, as you can see here. And the cool part about it is you don't actually need any specific type of player to do this. So I recommend putting your fastest player in that position, um, and he is going to burn man-to-man -man coverage consistently over the top as long as there's no um, and that's that's uh, Jair Alexander. Now sometimes the speed um, will become a factor, and that's why I said you know you want to have your fastest uh, player there. But just get the ball out here, and I recommend when you throw it. Good lord, I don't understand practice mode sheds. Uh, I'm just gonna spy the lineman because this is insane. Um, but basically, when you throw the ball, what you want to understand is you want to kind of hold hold the pass lead a little bit after you throw it so throw it hold it then click on the last second and go make a rack catch with michael gallup as you can see if you make that nice swerve rack catch it's going to make all the difference in the world for this play and this play is going to consistently beat man-to-man -man coverage especially if they take the safeties away now if they don't take the safeties away you can still get him the ball all you're going to do is you're just going to pass lead hard to the left, click on, and you're going to do the user catch mechanic that I talked about in the previous video about how to basically um, be able to consistently user catch. Um, and essentially all you're going to do is you're going to swerve him outside and then in, and he's going to get that nice little body, anima body up animation pretty much every single time against man coverage. And that's what I like. As long as this thing doesn't get pressed, you're going to have a lot of fun with this route. You see, I'm able to consistently get these animations. The, the cool part about this route is this route is not really that good as far as, um, or I'm sorry, clicking onto the defender this year is not really as good as it's been in years past. And so it's going to be really hard for them to, and there I made a bad, it was a bad click on. And if you do have a bad click on, you might get picked. So you're going to need to practice this route. But what you'll see is, this route is fairly consistent as long as you get a good um, good throw from your quarterback. If you have pass lead elite, it's going to be even better. Um, Dak Prescott's just a standard. You know, he doesn't have any passing abilities. Um, and so that's part of why. And I'm actually clicking on a little bit too early. Um, but you see here, I can consistently um, get this ball out, click on. And, and, and for the most part, I'm going to be fairly, fairly effective uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. I'm also going to be effective against the zone with this tactic, as you see right there. Now, if you if you don't have a good receiver running this route, like I have Michael Gallup running this route, um, then you want to go for the possession catch, and you're going to get that back shoulder animation, and he's not going to drop it. If you have a good receiver, like you have like a Mike Evans, or you have like a Jimmy Graham and Mutt, 
um, this this route's going to be really really effective because you can just aggressive catch it and your percentages to getting those rocket win animations are going to go up a ton but you see here that's that's really what we're looking for that little little shake to the right that's not the only route on the play that's good um, if they do press you um, this route to Amari Cooper is really good as well um, with the same kind of concept uh, as long as they don't get a press win animation, which they probably won't, especially if that's your best wide receiver, just get it out there, click on, and you're going to be able to make a play. And again, if they take the safeties away, that's really what's going to be you know, the issue. So a lot of people that run bench press will take the safeties away because they're thinking they're going to always win the press. Well, that specific route to Amari Cooper is a stock um, little outside streak, and so it does really good against press coverage as well. Oftentimes, you're going to get an outside release and so um, even if they win the press it doesn't really matter because you're gonna be able as soon as he gets um, off of the press to basically be able to lob the ball um, over the top remember to finish your throw click on and you're gonna be able to hit that nice deep bomb against the man-to-man -man coverage now let's say they keep the safeties over the top then you can attack the middle with this little trail route right here this is a very good route against man-to-man -man coverage it's been good against man all year long and then this route to Jarwin um, it's not going to get open in this video because he doesn't have the route running to be able to do it as you can see but if you have someone with good route running you put a good route running receiver in that position he's going to be able to do it and so now every single route um, really beats man-to-man -man coverage consistently especially if you can hit that user catch um, if you can hit this user catch to Michael Gallup it's going to take your game through the roof I mean this is really going to help you, especially with that bench press. But again, they're oftentimes are most of the time what from what I've been seeing, they're going to drop their their safeties in purple zones um, and basically play cover zero. If they play cover zero, these little fades on the outside are going to absolutely destroy um, the man to man coverage. And if they play if they play cover two man, most of the time, at least what I've been able to do is I've been able to consistently get this. Um, this little catch right here to Michael Gallup um, against most man-to-man -man coverage. And you see that is Jair Alexander. He's the best corner on the Packers. Um, and you see here, you're going to get that consistent. Now, if you have a Mike Evans, it's going to be even more consistent. But wait, because you're going to be able to do the aggressive version, not the possession version. The possession version is okay. It's just not great. But again, the click-on game on defense is really, really hard. And so this is going to help. Um, I mean, this is really going to help your your uh, offense. So you're going to be able to get that ball out there and really be consistently uh, making good reads. But this play as a whole is really, really solid. Um, it's pretty good against zone as well. Let me show you zone coverage real quick. So if they run zone coverage, basically if they run any cover two, you have both sides of the seams. Um, both of these seam routes are going to get open against cover two. As you see, Amari Cooper is going to get open to the outside. And then you're going to have... Um, Michael Gallup. Michael Gallup's going to get that nice outside release that we love against cover two. Click on, and most of the time you're going to be able to get it out there. That time I threw it, I think I threw it a little bit too late. I'm also in the middle of the field, so basically if you're on a hash, you would just throw the opposite side hashes uh, seam route. But right there, once he gets that outside release, he's going to be very, very good against the zone coverage. So what they're going to probably do is they're going to run a lot of cover three or cover four. And if they run cover three or cover four, what you're going to see is this route over the middle to Jarwin is going to be able to beat most middle zones in the in the Madden uh, game. So this is a really good little formation here. Um, I think there's a lot that can be done with this formation. You got stretch, you've got zone weak, you've got PA um, slot cross shot, which is actually a really really good little play here. Um, this route to Amari Cooper absolutely toast man to man. Um, that time I had the deep safety, but if I if I ran the deep safety out. Like if I took um, Michael Gallup here and just put him on a, a comeback or a fade route, what you're going to see is it's going to open up this window and you're going to be able to rat catch that with Amari Cooper and get some yardage. So anyways, just a solid formation all around, but I wanted to share that specific route slot trail. Um, very, very good route, especially if you could user catch those streaks. And there's a video I did on my YouTube channel actually that shows you how to do that. Um, and so you can check that out as well. Also, you can text me if you have any questions about the video. And make sure to join the channel Discord. It's a great place to be able to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you on tonight's live stream right after the Sunday night game.